And in that time, the girls are expected also to learn military courtesy and customs. There's no time and little patience for those who come to the training school for a romantic interlude and adventure. They're impressed quickly with the fact that they are being trained for a highly important job. Before entering, each student is required to have 35 hours of solo flying, which means they know something about a plane. But now they must readjust their methods and ideas to the Army way and learn from the ground up. They must learn map reading and aerial navigation, meteorology, physics, aircraft mechanics, and all other subjects vital to a flyer. They're paid for learning. They receive $150 a month while they're students. After entering active duty, the wasps get $250 a month. Code 2 is important, and each student is expected to master those dots and dashes. If marks are low, there are extra study halls in the evening to catch up. This six-month training period is probationary, and no matter what a student's past record in the air, she must first pass all examinations on ground operations. The girls make excellent students, studying as diligently as the men flyers in the Air Force's many schools. In the entire war effort, this is one of the toughest jobs handed women. In terms of brains and nerve, it's their greatest challenge. They know this, and so there's no goal breaking. 30 hours in the link trainer gives them valuable experience in instrument flying, air speed, vertical speed, blind flying, and how to stay on the beam. The entire program is supervised and directed by staff Air Force officers, though most of their instruction and flight time